Hey everyone, welcome. Um, no, thank you. Hair on my lip. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, I actually filmed this wig styling tutorial around three weeks ago, but I couldn't be bothered editing it, and I've just been really lazy. And then the reason I'm telling you this is because in the video I have my old hair which is my natural hair and obviously now i have my black and white hair so that's why in the video you'll see me looking like this and then it will go to me having my natural hair so yeah long story short um bear with blessing claire made me a human hair black and white wig a boy wig because i've always wanted to have my hair black and white but i've just never had i just didn't know if i wanted to commit to it so i was like you know what um, Blair makes amazing wigs, so I was like, you know what, let's do it. So let me just pop this on. I mean, <laughs> I mean it's not styled or like glued down, but it's just like this cute thingy wig, so you get the idea. So I started wearing this, and that's why like some of my pictures on my boy Instagram account were like me in this like black and white hair, and everyone's like, oh my god, I love it. And every time I took the wig off, I was like, really sad so i was like you know what i'm gonna commit to doing it so my one of my best friends is a hairdresser and he did that for me and we turned it from a wig to my actual hair now so you know i'm still waiting on getting it cut so i've grown out my bowl cut that's why we look like a big long hair but hairdressers starting to open back up again in the uk soon like this week i think so i can get my hair cut soon and then my hair transformation will be amazing but i'm waffling on about my own hair when you came to see how to style the wig in the thumbnail so if you would like to see how i turn this wig from this into this then keep on watching okay so my wig is blocked down and she's ready to be styled this is the most important part also Using the ribbon helps to keep the hairline flat, so then when you do go to wear the wig, your hairline is flatter to your head, making it easier to glue. But first of all, we're gonna do the usual, which is decide where we're gonna want the parting to be and what rollers we're gonna use on each part. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna follow this line here and cause a diagonal parting across the wig like that. So now there's a diagonal line here and that's so that when I do this roller, it will go back diagonal and then this one will go that way. If you did a straight line, you just have like a wave and a wave. If you do it on a diagonal, it gives you a bit more of a flow to the wig. Now, I don't want this whole section to be finger waved, so I'm just gonna go in and just pull out about this much hair here. So now I'm gonna take this line here and I'm just gonna go diagonally across to me with the other pattern that we've done. And now we've just got two nice clean patterns ready to be rollered. Okay, so the front section is out of the way, ready to be rollered, but I'm gonna roll it at the end, but we're gonna be using a green roller like this for the front section. For all the back hair, we're gonna be using these smaller red rollers, and these give a really nice, tight, beautiful curl, so when you smooth them out, they've got really nice, like, ringlet curls to them, so that's what I want. So I'm just gonna start at the top and then work my way all the way back. So now, to kind of get the perfect size for your roller, just put the roller on your wig head like so, and then you can just kind of pull up the section around the roller, and that will give you the perfect size amount of hair that you need for your roller, like so. Then I just have like, this is an old setting spray and I've just filled it with water and I'm just gonna wet the hair all the way through. Ignore that horrible noise. <laughs> and then you just wanna comb the hair so that it's really saturated and wet. So then I put my roller through my finger, put my other one over the top to block the hair like that. And then you want to wrap the hair around the roller like so. And then when you roller it now, you want to slightly twist the roller to go over all the hair that you sandwiched to lock it down. And then you can just roller it up like this all the way to the base. And then your roller is done. And then you just want to get two pins and you just want to block the roller down 
with the pins. And that is your first roller done. So get your roller, measure up how much you want, pick up that section from the back, and then you just wanna get your water bottle and you're just gonna saturate the hair, like so. Get your roller on your finger, pull the hair across. So once you've wrapped the hair, go diagonally across the hair that you've wrapped to lock it in like that. And then you can just roll the wig all the way up to the top like so. And then once it's in, you just go in with the pins to lock her in place. Okay, so the back is all rollered. So now we're gonna move on to the front part, which is these here. And we're gonna be doing the exact same technique but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna roll them on a diagonal. So doing it on a diagonal means that you don't get any weird parting lines on the hairline. So now the wig is fully rolled. So you can see that these ones here are going back this way, and then these ones are going back this way, and then you can just see the whole wig. It's like this. I'll do a little slow more turn so you can kind of screenshot or record, screen record, just so you can have an idea exactly of where you'll do your rolls if you want to recreate this. Now we're going to move on to steaming the wig. So you're going to need a plastic bag and a steamer. You're going to get your carrier bag and so now that my steamer is hot enough you're going to put it underneath like this so you can just see the steamer is here and then you're just going to hold it and now can you see how the clear bag is starting to get white and that's because the steam is filling the whole bag and then that steam is what's going to cook the rollers and set the curls into it so what i do is i put the steamer under until it's completely empty like all the water has become steam and have come out of it then i fill it up one more time and do it again so i do two full steamers with the bag on underneath and then I find that that is enough to make sure the hair is super curly. So once you finish steaming it, you're just gonna leave it in the bag for like 10 minutes because at the moment it's like red hot. You wanna keep all that trapped in, leave it for like 10 minutes like I said, take the bag off, let it air dry for four, five, six hours or overnight, however long you want, and then you go to style. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll be right back. So the wig has been drying for like maybe three hours at this point. So for the last couple of hours, I'm actually gonna take out the rollers and just let it sit and then it will dry a little bit faster when the rollers are out. So now that all the rollers are out and she looks crazy, I'm just gonna let her sit now for another two hours just to make sure that it's fully dry and there's no like damp areas and then we'll come back in style. So I've just pulled the hair that we did with the bigger rollers forwards and then I'm just gonna slowly brush through just to see what we're working with. So now we're gonna move on to like back combing and styling the wig. So I've pulled the bigger, you know the section that we did with the bigger rollers, I've pulled that forward out of the way, and now we're just going to start back combing the wig up into a style. So I'm gonna start at the top, and I'm gonna do my normal back combing technique. So I'm just gonna get the wig like this, and I'm just gonna make sure she's all brushed out, and that there's no knots in the ends, so she's all brushed. What I'm gonna do is, is bring it forward this way, so we're actually going to be brushing the back comb in into the wig rather than it being sat at the front. So I'm just going to start pulling the hair down towards the root like so. And then you just want to fluff it back like this. And now you can see we've got like a nice little fluffy cloud of hair starting to form here. And we're just going to do that all throughout this top section. And then again, just brushing it to the root and then fluffing out like so. 
And now I'm just gonna start working through the hair and I'm just gonna take nice clean sections and then again, just smooth it out so that there's no knots in the wig. Brush the hair down towards the root. Then when you get to the root, really start teasing that back coming into the root and then pushing it out like so. So you create like a nice big fluff of hair like this. And I'm gonna work through the hair to lapel the mid parts so about here-ish because I like how tight and curly the back is here and how it's shaping the neck. So I wanna keep that in, but I just wanna add a lot of volume to the top. So now that we've back home the top part, we have this part here, which you want to go through and make it look super neat and less like a bed head. So what I like to do is I'll start off near the bottom and I'll just section off some of these bits and just section them up and out of the way. So once you've sectioned it up, you want to make sure you get all the knots out. So I'm going through with my brush and brushing out all the knots like so. And then you want to get a little bit of hairspray and just lightly dust over the hair. Let it kind of just set for a second. So all you do is you just put your brush like that on your hand and then you just rotate it so it just falls onto it like that. And then it just creates this nice little array of like curls at the back. And then you want to let down little sections at a time and you want to do the same thing. You want to brush out all the knots like so, and then you can just go in with your hand and like curl up the hair. And then can you just see how it just like layers together really nicely? And it just creates some tameness in the back, but it also looks a little bit unkept and it kind of, it just looks cute. Okay, so the back is more or less finished with how I like it. It's nice and defined, it has like a little bit of volume to it. So once the back is done, you're just gonna just go in and you just wanna lightly cut it all with hairspray. We're gonna set it properly at the end, but this is just to create a stickiness because then you're gonna go back in with your comb and you'll just move the curls around to how you want them. So I'm gonna take my smoothing brush, which is this one here, and all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lightly start to brush out this back comb here like that. And as you can see, the front of it will come out really easy. And then the back comb will just sit into the back part. And then just to make sure it stays in, I just get my comb and I lightly just push the back comb to the root, like so. And then once it's at the root, I get the bigger brush and just removing all the knots. And then once you get it, I'm kind of brushing it so I can see the waves. And then I can just pinch the wave and just slightly put it back into the hair kind of thing. So we've got another little section here. So you're just going to really make sure all the back combing at the back is really secured and in. And then you're just going to brush the front section like this. Just to really get the teeth out so it starts with nice and smooth. And then grab the hair and start to remove all the knots. And again, just brushing it through just so I can kind of find the wave, like so. You can see the wave is formed there. And then I can just place the wave back in there.
Okay, so we've kind of ish finished the back area. We just need to set it. Now we're gonna work on these waves here. And what I wanna do is I just, these waves were rollered so they're like rollered in the right way. So you can see that the wave forms like really easily. But what I'm gonna do is to give it a little bit of a volume is I'm just gonna lightly tease into it ever so slightly. So you're just gonna take it section by section and I'm just gonna lightly just tease a little bit of fluffiness into the root of the back up. The wave, not the back up. We're going back up into the wave. And I'm just taking nice little sections and I'm putting the back comb in underneath just so it's easier to hide from the front. You're gonna get it all together and you're just gonna start lightly going through and brushing as much of the back combing, not out, but just smoothing it out the best you can. So now I know that I can get a wave in here like this. I can also pin it back a little bit here and then I've got my wave forming in here at the back. So we're just gonna do the exact same and I'm just going to back home all this up so we can like lay it into here. And then you've kind of got this huge Going. So we're just going to start by smoothing out the base of it here, like that, and then I'm going to grab it all together and just start to brush through and get rid of some of the knotting in the back, just so I can get like a really clean, clean, clean nails. We're just gonna brush the hair rod nice and slowly and we're gonna just spray a little bit of hairspray into it just to make sure that all the loose ends are all going in the same direction. Then I'm gonna switch to my ball bristle brush and just really gather everything together. And then once you're happy with your shape, we're just gonna lock everything into place with hairspray. And now we're just gonna douse the whole thing with hairspray. So really make sure everything is nice and sat. Again, with the back, you can just kind of scrunch the curls if you just wanna make sure they're nice and tight. Really make sure your waves are spread. So I'm gonna go take all the pins out and I'll be back with the final wig. So here's a finished wig. It's kind of like a high fashion umpa lumpa kind of vibe, which I mean, work, why not? I mean, I'm gonna be honest, not, I'm not in love with it. I mean, y'all get to see the techniques used to do waves and the tight curls and the roller set and everything like that. So obviously you get to learn something from the video. I just, I like this part of the wig here and I like the, the curliness around the sides and I love the shape, like this kind of, like that. I just, for me, the wave here, I just kept on fighting with it and I just couldn't get it to sit right. So that's my only issue, which is I just couldn't get the wave to sit right. But you know what? I'll be able to wear it for a look. It will look cute and I can always just restyle it at a later date. It's not an issue, it will do. But yeah, I hope you all learned something from this video and kind of just saw a different way to kind of do wigs. Because I know that my last wig tutorial, we obviously didn't roll the whole wig. I just rolled sections. This time we rolled the whole wig. So it's really just thinking about what 
you want to do with regards to the style and then just breaking it down and just seeing how you can get to the end goal the easiest if that makes sense but definitely let me know down in the comments what you thought of this wig if you like it if you would wear it i think if it was in like a different color maybe like a black or a blonde it would look a lot cuter but nevertheless here is my umpa lumpa chic fashion wig but yeah i guess that concludes today's video so if you like the video don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel let me know down in the comments what you thought of this video and what other wigs you would like to see me style and i guess that's it so until then i'll see you on the next one see ya